um, just shortly after Super Typhoon, and around us was the devastation of the coconut trees and the flattened rice plantations and houses that were damaged beyond bearing. And coming over that road this morning, we saw how the natural world and the will of the people of Leyte uh, has reasserted itself because the road is now beautiful, um, the trees are thriving, the rice is along the sides of the roads being dried and, and ready for market, and the children are in school, and people are playing um, and loving and living together. So we see how, how strong um, the will of the communities of Leyte are uh, to, to thrive even after disaster, and it lifted up our hearts. But more, to turn off of the main road, uh, the place where everyone sees and, and where the help first came, to turn off of the main road and to come here to a community uh, that was not noticed at first and to see how life is thriving here, uh, to see the new homes, to stand on this stage, uh, to have been able to look at the work that has been done um, to, to cause the water supply to be reliable and to provide for the future, not just the immediate needs of this community, but for the long-term future of this community and the health of its children and the future of its children uh, lifts up our hearts. In the Bible, uh, in 2 Corinthians, it says that if, um, that if the earthly house of our tabernacle is destroyed, we have a home in heaven, um, not made with hands, that is eternal. And it comes to me that, that there is no possibility of rebuilding the earthly tabernacles of our dwelling unless the eternal habitation is strong in the hearts of the people. And we have found that in our, um, our dear partners of the UCCP and, and Task Force Haiyan, um, um, without which we would not have been able to partner well with you, without which the donor dollars would have meant nothing. Because without good partners who know who, who needs to have the support and who has the heart to do something with it, there is no um, partnership.